What's up everyone, it's Caddy with MoneyVest. So in this video, I wanted to break down exactly what Jerome Powell said during the European Central Bank conference in Portugal. He talked a little bit about interest rates and monetary policy over in the US. And then he also had the FOMC minutes from the June 11th, June 10th and 11th meeting come out yesterday as well, which I also wanna break down in this video. As always, if you enjoy it, find it helpful, please make sure to drop a like and also a very, very happy 4th of July to everyone. Um, I really hope and pray and wish that you have an amazing day uh, with your friends and family, get some sunshine. The markets are indeed closed on 4th of July. So again, a happy independence to everybody over in the US um, and uh, really hope that you enjoy this day. Also want to mention that uh, right now we're running huge sales across the board for our, not only our beta launch for the MoneyVest platform, which now happens in four days, you can access this with a 51% discount. And again, over 17,500 stocks are going to be available for you to analyze and of course make more informed and confident investment decisions. Uh, but also our courses, all of our educational courses are going to be 60% off coupon code July 4, including our bundles are also 60% off with the link down below. And this is only valid for another 24 hours. So it does expire at midnight tonight. So for a limited time, this is also available. Link's gonna be down below. We'd love to have you on board. If you have any questions, please let me know. So first things first, let's talk a little bit about what Jerome Powell said uh, in regards to interest rates. So first thing obviously he said that we have made some significant progress in 2024. Although despite the, despite the progress that we've made, they still need to have more confidence in order to cut inflation. So he says, uh, or basically expressed satisfaction with the progress made on inflation over the past year, but said that he wants to see more before being confident enough to start cutting interest rates, something that we have already heard in our previous conferences, previous reports as well. He says, and I quote, we've made quite a bit of progress in bringing inflation back down to our target. Um, however, the last inflation reading and the one before it, to a lesser extent, suggests that we are getting back to a quote unquote disflationary path. And we want to be more confident that inflation is moving sustainably down towards 2% before we start the process of reducing or loosening policy. And the comments obviously come with the markets closely watching what the Federal Reserve ends up doing. And European Central Bank Christian Lagarde was also there and they have already started with interest rate cuts. We learned about that last month, 25 basis points already done by ECB. Uh, and again, Jerome Powell and the Federal Reserve, the Central Bank of the United States is probably one of the uh, most important players when it comes to global monetary policy and is still keeping interest rates where they are at a five and a quarter and five and a half percent with many people expecting, of course, the interest rate cuts, the first one to come in in September of 24. That's why the second half of 24 is so very important because not only do we have elections, the national election over in the US, but we also got a potential rate cut happening in the US, the first rate cut of, uh, of the Federal Reserve from the US. So while Powell said he sees progress on inflation, he's wary of moving too soon and threatening the downward path of price increases, which hit their highest pace since early 1980s, two years ago. And he says, and I quote, we're well aware that if we go too soon, that we can undo the good work we have done. And if we do too, it too late, we could unnecessarily undermine the recovery and the expansion as well. So the risk of moving too late as opposed to moving too soon have come into better balance this year as inflation has ebbed and the economy and labor market have stayed strong. And Powell added, by contrast, the Federal Reserve spent much of the time past year worried about cutting interest rates too soon and allowing inflation to resume its upward trek post the greater risk. And as I've mentioned before, with any type of monetary policy and quantitative easing, the risk of doing it too early or cutting too early will always, always be more than the risk of doing too late. Always remember that because think about it more logically, right? What does the Federal Reserve do faster? Do they raise interest rates faster or do they cut interest rates faster? They cut interest rates much faster then they raise interest rates. They raise interest rates over a period of time. They do it over several months, even several years, right? We're, we've gone, we've been on this path of interest rate hikes for the last two and a half years. So it's taken us that long to get to where we are, right? But when it comes to cutting interest rates, they can do that in a blink of an eye. They can do that overnight. They can do that very, very quickly. So if they want to help support the economy, if there's a recession, if unemployment starts to go higher, if economic contraction begins, they can always fix that by reducing interest rates very, very quickly. But they can't do that 
when there is inflation on the rise. When inflation is running higher, it's running hotter, they can't just jack up the interest rates up to 5 6%. It's a slow and steady process. So the risk of doing too early, or in other words, the risk of cutting interest rates too early will always be higher than the risk of cutting too late. Because if they cut too early and inflation accelerates back up, well, guess what? We're back where we started. We're going to have to raise interest rates again in order to really kill inflation. But the risk of doing too late is not that much because if there's a recession, if there's unemployment going higher, well, guess what? The Federal Reserve can cut interest rates very soon, very, very quickly, bring them down to close to 0% as they did back in 2020 to help fight the pandemic. And there's going to be a lot of quantitative easing. There's going to be a lot of monetary policy loosening up, more supply of credit, more investing, more saving, more spending, and the economy is going to be back on track. So always remember, when it comes to monetary policy, the risk of cutting too early is always greater than the risk of cutting too late. Now, Jerome Powell being asked what he thought, whether the Federal Reserve is going to cut interest rates in September, Powell responded that I'm not going to be landing on any specific dates here today. He was also asked whether he was concerned about the political climate, specifically with Donald Trump uh, regaining his uh, sort of place in the office over in Washington, D.C. Of course, we know that Jerome Powell never comments on any fiscal policy or any political debates, to which he also said, and I quote, I'm not focused on that at all. And that's not just a talking point for us. I really think that we need to just keep doing our jobs moving forward. Now, moving over to the FOMC minutes, uh, as we already know that the, the the summary of economic projections from back in June that the Federal Reserve released, uh, we already know that they have significantly come down on the potential for rate cuts while keeping it consistent throughout 2025 and later. So 2024 forecast, of course, has come down from you know three to four cuts down to now just a couple cuts down to now just one cut. The market obviously is pricing in for more than that. But some participants emphasize the committee's data dependent approach in the FOMC minutes with monetary policy decisions being conditional on the evolution of the economy rather than being on a preset path. Officials collective forecast for interest rates in the summary of economic projections, as we already learned back in June, implied only a one quarter point cut or 25 basis points. Um, you know, of course, in, in 2024, uh, two fewer than the median estimate in the quarterly SP showed in March. So of course, we have come down on those expectations and in discussing the outlook for monetary policy participants also noted that the progress in reducing inflation had been slower this year than they had previously expected back in last december and they emphasized that they did not expect that it would be appropriate to lower interest rates for the federal funds rate under uh, under of course certain conditions and additional information had emerged to give them greater confidence that inflation was moving sustainably towards their two percent objective so the bottom line is the federal reserve is clearly not confident at the moment and they're they don't they don't really believe that we are moving or we're sustainably moving towards the two percent target which is for that reason they've decided to keep interest rates a little bit higher for longer um, and only with one interest rate cut expected in 2024 which most likely will happen sometime in september or could be in november as well but the bottom line is that we already understand that there is going to eventually be rate cuts uh, inflation is moving down of course it's moving down a little bit slower than what many people expected economy continues to be strong on the back of a very strong spending on the back of credit card debt which obviously is hitting a new all-time high over in the us so for those reasons i think we are seeing very strong earnings from a lot of companies we're seeing, we're seeing a lot of spending, we're seeing a lot of growth, um, and companies are still hiring at a very rapid scale. And unemployment rate continues to be a little bit more stable. We're going to learn more about unemployment tomorrow since it's the first Friday of the month of July. So the June report is going to come out. Uh, I'll break that down. Maybe I'll go live to cover that report as well. But the bottom line is economy continues to be strong. And the Federal Reserve and the FOMC meeting uh, really is what they're hammering down on is taking advantage. They're taking advantage of a stronger economy so that they can continue to keep interest rates higher for longer, for as long as possible, so that they can accomplish their goal of bringing inflation down. So they're basically just taking advantage of the fact that the economy is strong. In other words, they're, they're punishing the economy for being too strong. If the economy was not this strong, if the unemployment rate was higher, labor market was in complete chaos, then I'm sure they would have already started to cut interest rates. But because those two things are so strong, economy is good and unemployment is really low, they're able to take advantage of that very fact and keep interest rates higher for longer. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And what do you believe that Jerome Powell and the Federal Reserve is going to do in the next four more meetings left in the second half of 2024, with two of them coming out with the summer of economic projections. And more importantly, we've got the national election over in the US in November, which obviously is going to be a very, very important day 
for the US. Once again, happy 4th of July to everyone and uh, hope you all enjoyed this video, find it helpful. Make sure that you drop a like and also do subscribe to the channel if you're just joining us time and uh, again do check out the courses currently 60 percent off coupon code is going to be july 4 and uh, again this is a limited time sale it expires at midnight and also do check out the link below for patreon to join our money vest platform for which we are doing the beta launch in four days now there's a 51 percent discount you can lock this pricing in for life until you cancel as always happy investing i'll see you all in the next video